Hello, this is Corvus Gaming and I'm showing you the bigger and better Lich King weapon and armor mode. So I already did a Lich King armor but this one is without a shadow of a doubt, of a doubt the best Lich King armor that there is in Sky Nexus mode. So what we, you will need to do is download the mode at Nexus modes, obviously install it and then you need to go here to Isgramor's tomb where you finish the companion's quest line. Spoilers alert. So basically this was the place where Isgramor died and you need to go here to find some, well, items in order to craft Frostmorn. So here's what we'll need to do. It's somewhere inside, probably near the tomb. Let's see, no, not orcish bows. There it is. See this? Dormant remnants of Frostmourne. You'll need to take this. There's our skulls, uh, troll skulls, wolf belts, and a lot of skulls and all here that is, well, you know, similar to the simple fact that the Lich King likes to mess with the undead. We all know that. So basically you need to go here and grab the dormants of Frostmourne. Once you have that, you need to go to any forge whatsoever. To my knowledge, where I normally like to craft my stuff is at the Sky Forge. Well, because it's this badass Sky Forge, where everyone can forge amazing Nordic hero weapons, if you, oh. and armor, if you actually finish the companion's questline. Alright, so, enough babbling, once you have the dormants of the Frostmourne, you go to any forge whatsoever, there are not many requirements, except you need 100 smithing, yes, this is labeled as a triadric armor and weapon, so, yeah. The creators of the mode don't really, really make things easy, do they? It's something that I don't understand why so much requirements. So, once in here, you need to go to, by the way, you will need snow bear pelts. That's one item that I missed. In case you guys missed this, and my bad on this, sorry, it's my bad, you simply type this code and a lot of other codes that you can easily get on the internet. Because, quite frankly, who gathers all the items, really? It would be a waste of time, you would waste your life trying to gather all those items. So there. Snow bear pelts. There, I have everything now. Now, you need to have the Frostmon remains and the, well, 100 smithing. So, good luck on that. So, here's the deal. You can craft either, well, the, the creator doesn't really give us much of an option, does he? So, you have this, you have this option. You either craft the two-handed one. The special one, which allows, allows you to use a shield, I'll do this for the purposes of the mode, or the soul and life of energy, like this one. I don't know which, sincerely, I don't know the difference, the creator did not specify, but, well, let's see, which one should I create? Hmm, yeah, this one looks badass, I'll create this one. There, I have one. Now. Now that this is done, let's create, craft the last and uh, the rest of the armor. And the last of the Lich King's armor. So you have a lot of options to use. Lots of options. Lots and lots of options. Let's craft all of them and see what we can do. We have a lot to customize and you have this. Alright, so let's test this. We have a lot to use now, so let's put uh, something cool. Alright, so boots, gauntlets, helmet, male hood. No, without the male hood first. And normal version, and the skull, why not? Dreadwolf Force. Alright, let's see this. Alright, so... Ah, interesting, so the claw acts as a shield, see? Protecting you from harm. Now enough claw look look at this look at this are you or are you not a badass lich king look at this now let's put frostmourne to the mix and see what happens see one-handed weapon and frostmourne so what happens if i swing this it has a nasty spell to it look at this are you or are you not a super lich king with this 
badass, amazing armor. All of that gathering really paid off. And you have that dark glare look to you. And you are a skull, very, very cool. So we can customize a bit more and that's what we'll be doing. So let's put a male hood. Yeah, it has a problem, see, with the shades. Now, what if I take the helmet? Will that work? No, I'm just invisible then with the male hood. So I'm not sure why that's there, if it doesn't work. Oh my. Now with the male hood, there's a male hook. Yes, if we combine the male hood, it has this badass look. Look at that. With that mask. Now let's use a shadow mask. Very cool. The true Lich King. Look at this. Very, very cool. Alright, I'll keep this like this. It's very, very, very cool. Look at that. Badass. And that gauntlet. Amazing. Look at that. Now that's protection. Now that is protection. Very cool. By the way, I'll show you in a minute's time all the necessary things in detail. The shield, weapon, everything that it does. And I'll test it in some enemies. Just be patient and observe it for the moment. The armor. Look at all the details. Very cool. Very badass. Now, capeless. What's the difference here? Capeless. Damned, small belt, but not much of a significant ver the variance or difference, but it's very cool nonetheless. Now let's put the skull to the misc. No, don't know where the skull goes, but whatever. Looks really, really cool. Oh, to the head, of course. Nah, the best version is the male hood and the mask, or either Warlord or the black one. The black one is amazing. True Lich King. Alright, so, now that we have the armor and the best setup, let's test the weaponry. So, let's see uh, a good fort to test this. So, Blood Left Throne, Cracked Tusk, f already killer, a lot of forts. Sunguard was Western Watchtower, doesn't work. Snowhawk, let's go to Snowhawk. Let's test this on Fort Snowhawk. Right, let's attack that. Right, so this is great, mages. That's great. I am here already, so I want to test. All right, my first enemy. Let's see what this bad boy does. All right, so I'm protected from. Yes, this protects me from harm. Now let's see what happens if I swing this bad boy at you. Oh my! It devours the life force of my enemies. Very useful. Alright, so Jezargo is tackling a lot of enemies there. Alright, let's... There it goes. Absorption. Absorb. Everything that it touches, it absorbs the enemies, the life force of the enemies. It's very useful. Look at this. Very cool. Very, very cool. Right, so this has this amazing sound and all zoom, this absorption of life forces that is very, very, very trademark like of li the Lich King. And of a Necro Warrior. Look at this, absorbing the life force of everything. Alright, so as you can see, the armor, the effects, the armor, everything is very cool. Now let's take a look at the stats. As you can see, as a one handed weapon, it is quite strong and it has this very cool. Effect devours the soul and life energies of all victims, victims as you guys saw it. The Lich King armory doesn't have much to it. It's just death stare. This one is very cool. This is the best setup. The boots, the boots, gauntlets, helmet, mill hood, and shadow mask. It you will be a badass, very badass. Now the armor just have some small differences that are barely noticed. And this you can be a skull basically, not much more to it. Now the claw, the claw is very cool. It actually creates a ward. It acts as a very cool shield. Look at that, as a shield and as a, a ward shield that you can be protected from magic. Very very cool. And the graphics are amazing at the weapon. The frost is very well made. So basically this is what I wanted to show you. 
the Lich King armor mode. I hope that you guys seriously enjoy this. This is a very, very cool mode. And as always, you can get this at Nexus modes. Look at this. I even have this dark aura around me. Look at this. It's a very interesting touch. Very cool. Um, and as I was saying, you can get this at Nexus modes. And the link is down in the description for you guys to download from. So, basically that is all from me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. So, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Scarabest is out. I'll see you guys soon for more armors. And for more Lich King, probably. See you guys soon. Cheers.